How is the catheter ablation done in atrial flutter? First of all, we can talk about the access points. This is a skeleton of the human body, and in it we can see the heart and we can see the groin. And in the groin here, there are two femoral veins. And the access point for atrial flutter is a small injection in your groin through which we can pass up a catheter into this vein, into the heart, to access the heart here. The chamber of interest in the heart for atrial flutter is the right atrium, which is this chamber here. And the catheter, which is inserted through a keyhole approach, is inserted into this chamber. So we can now look at the heart and uh, in moving this model around, understanding that we can get to the heart here, we can focus on trying to understand the anatomy in relation to atrial flutter. So this is the beating heart. And if we turn this around, we can see the image of a tricuspid valve. And this is a valve here, which we can see uh, is beating, uh, marked in the pink uh, labels. Now, if I turn this structure, if I turn the heart around, and we can look into the right atrial chamber, and the right atrial chamber is this chamber here, what we can see is atrial flutter exists as a circuit that goes around the right atrial chamber. So how does it move around? It moves around either in a counterclockwise, which is this way, or a clockwise circuit around the tricuspid valve. And this circuit continues around and round and causes the continuous activity of atrial flutter to occur. Now, when we look at ablating this circuit, what we can do is, if you look carefully here, there are two structures. One, the tricuspid valve, which is this structure here, which has in it fibrous tissue which does not electrically conduct. And another structure here called the inferior vena cava. And this is the inferior vena cava. And what we do to terminate the circuit in atrial flutter is we can draw a line of ablation dots here along what's called the cable tricuspid isthmus. And in doing so, we complete a line of electrical isolation here, therefore not allowing the circuit to uh, perpetuate anymore. So where the circuit previously was coming around in this way, and going across here, continuing the circuit, what this line does of ablation is that it terminates the circuit. So you're no longer able to cross this line and therefore flutter is terminated. And this is how we would perform a flutter ablation.